Welcome to episode one of Ring It Got D Test, okay? In today's lesson, we're gonna learn how to transform that box into a PC case. Yeah, you heard me right, we're gonna transform that box into a PC case. Now, you may have me wondering, why would you make a PC case out of cardboard? I know that may sound stupid at first, but I'm just saying, the cheapest PC cases cost around like 50 bucks. You know, the look on mail money, you know, the computer was expensive, expensive as it is, you know, the look on mail money. The first thing you need to do is get the handyman's secret weapon. Tape. The second thing you need to do is decide what side of the box you want to be the bomb. This is going to be the bomb, you're going to need to tape this side up. This is going to be the bomb, you need to tape that side up. You're going to use a handyman's secret weapon. Tape. And tape that up. Okay, now you should have taped the box. Make sure you tape inside the interior. That's not. And the exterior, okay? You want to make sure there's no air I can get through here. And also, you want to make sure the ground can't touch this. Because you got carpet in your house. You're going to build that sat electricity and you're going to kill your PC. And you don't want to kill your PC because that, that's expensive. And like I said, it might have to grow on trees. Now that you have completely taped the ball on your PC case, now we want to get another box where we can make a motherboard mouse. We're going to cut these things off right here and make, turn them to motherboard mouse. I'll be back with that. Now that you finished cutting the box and got these out, we want to be turning these things right here into the mounts. Now, once you cut those out, you want to tape them to the bottom. To the bottom of the case, okay? You don't want the motherboard to touch the bottom of the case because if it does, you know, that can cause issues. And you may need to put something underneath to support them because I use cardboard here, it's not as good. There's nothing here, you know, going like that, you know, there's nothing supporting that. And there's deck cards here, you know what? I figure, you know, I'm gonna put the deck cards here because when I need them, it's probably gonna be the apocalypse. And the apocalypse happening, then I doubt I'm gonna be able to use my computer, so, you know, yeah. Next, you want to get your computer motherboard, okay? And you want to make sure you position the right way because you want the I.O. coming out of the case. You want to set this down here and determine where the I.O. is so you know where to mark it so you can cut it out. Now that you're drawing out where you need to cut, now you want to be very careful. You know what my papa used to say to me? Measure twice, cut once. Now we cut a hole and mount the I.O. shield onto the PC case we are done with this part of this PC next thing you want to do is cut a hole for the graphics card you want to take your graphics card in here and outline it so you know what to cut I'll be back when I'm done measuring and cutting and now I'm back okay I got the GPU hole cut open okay as you can see and I secured it with the handyman secret weapon tape this is the handyman's secret weapon, and it's the best thing made since sliced bread. Now we have finished the GPU, now we need to focus on the power supply. So we're going to outline the power supply, and we're going to cut a hole so there's a hole for the plug. I'll be back when I have finished that. I just finished tracing the power supply and cutting a hole in it. As you can see, there's a hole for the power supply, and this should theoretically work. But I have never been wrong, I think. Now, the next thing we're going to worry about is cooling, okay? So, I'm going to put an exhaust here and an intake here, okay? I'll be back once I have traced the fan so I know how to cut the hole, okay? Just like, remember, this is what Papa used to say. Measure twice, cut once. Always remember that. Okay, so I just finished installing the fans. There's a fan there. Our intake and fan there, our outtake. Oh, you can't really see that, can you? Let me move. Now you can see the outtake. So let's see if this darn thing works. Let me switch on the power supply. And let's turn it on. Our RGB came on. Fans on? That fan's on, and it's blowing, it's working. And that fan is exhausting. Yep, the fans work. Mission accomplished. Okay, we are almost done. Right now, we're going to see, does this computer work? So we are going to turn it on. I can grab the power switch. Okay, so I ain't right the switch on 
Let's see, does it work now? Okay, it powers on. Let's see, do we pause? Hopefully I got on the right display. Nothing yet. Oh, we got something. Oh, uh, we posting, we're posting. Can we get into Windows, folks? Oh, it's loading Windows, it's loading Windows. Can we get into Windows? I actually can't believe this thing's actually working. Like, I didn't doubt myself, but usually this stuff doesn't work the first time. I don't know, it's just some kind of jinx, you know. Everyone has it, you know, it never works the first time, but, you know, I guess it's an exception to every rule, you know. So we're ready for this thing to boot. And that thing is kind of loud. If I put my thing in there, you might be able to hear that fan. It's pretty loud. But, the Windows Crusher is on and, uh... Well, that's not good. Seems like we're having a few graphical corruptions. Okay, let's restart the PC and see if that fixes that. Because right now we got this green screen. Let's go turn it on again. Alright, turns on again. Okay, do we post? Okay, something's happening. Okay, we post. Alright, it looks like it's trying to go into automatic repair. But it's not a big deal. I just think the graphic driver just kind of uh, gave up on us. So we're going to wait for this thing to load, you know. Too bad I'm not actually in Windows, but hopefully this thing works. Recovery, okay. I like to see advanced option. Continue to Windows 10. Now, I'm going to Windows 10 right now. Now, I'm learning about virtualization stuff, so maybe, you know, next time I do a video, maybe I'm using Linux as a hypervisor, and, you know, when I want a game, I'll just boot up a Windows VM, but right now, I don't know enough about that to do that. I'm currently doing research. Maybe that's going to be the next Rainyak Tech Tech Tips. No, wait, that's not what I'm going to call this. This is Rainyak IT. Yeah, this Redneck IT, sorry. Sorry, folks, I keep forgetting what I'm going to call this show. But we're booting into Windows. Let's see, does this work? You know, I was doing a little circle thing, you know, and we got to wait. Man, that thing is really loud. I can hear it from here. Woo-hoo! Hooey! It's really loud. Can I please wait? Okay, I can wait. I've been waiting here for like a minute now. Man, I really need to upgrade to an SSD because this is some slow. This is really slow. Okay, we are in the login menu. Can I log in? But type it in right. That would really help if I type in my password right. Uh, that's not right. I uh, screwed up typing my password. Can I do it right the second time? I uh, think it's working. I think, or it's going to do that circle thing, you know, just to stall me, which I really hate because sometimes I forget my password. It's really annoying. Well, I should write that stuff down, but I always seem to remember it eventually. Man, this is taking a sweet time to log me in. I just know it's kind of blurring out the camera. Sorry about that, folks. And we're in the dick shop. Okay, I'm going to play a few game, a game on it to stress test it. If it crashes, I'll let you know, but... If, if it passes, I'll update you and uh, we'll close, finish the build. Okay, I stress tested the PC. It works like a champ. It works fine. So now we got close this case, okay? We got close the top. And now it is possible to close the top without tape. First, you want to do this. Then you want to do that. Then 
and yet uh, next thing you want to do I messed this up. Um, mess this up. I gotta figure this out. I'm a little dumb. Sorry. Sorry, folks. I hate breaking you, but I'm kind of retarded. I think I just ripped the box. Yeah, it's not gonna, I might have to tape that. Alright, and now we want... Do this, question mark? I really can't see it. It's kind of hard to hold, do this and hold the camera. Approaching rest like a tripod. Man, it's gonna be our next episode, how to make a tripod. And there, it's kind of sealed. I can't screw the box up a little bit. So we, we're going to have to tape it a little. Just a little. Hold on, let me put my camera down. I thought I got, I got to put the camera down. I can't do this uh, two-handed. I mean, I can't do it one-handed, so I got to put down the phone. There, this is closed. Now, you may want to put something on top to make sure the air doesn't escape through here, you know, like a book or something, but, you know, it should be fine as it is. So, thank you for watching the first episode of Red Nick IT. I'll see you next time I upload a video. Peace.